Oliver. And I'm Louis Lineback. And uh, we're in a band called Lime Cordial, which we started about three years ago, just um, playing together on a little family holiday in in France. Yeah. And now we, our band, our live band, is um, you know made made up of different people every show. So sometimes it's you know a, a four piece band with a trombone player and a, a and a drummer. Other times it's we've got a keyboard player, a guitarist, a Barry sax player drama so it varies up a little doesn't it? Usually some horns and it seems to be what we like to do. Yeah, we just released uh, our last EP, Falling Up The Stairs, in the United States, and it's been going good. Um, some of the challenges with that CD. Our producer was a bit of a nutcase, we thought, at first, it was a lot of... Um, it's scary. <laughs> get used to him, because he'd like, he'd, you'd do a vocal take and he'd just go, nah, not good, do it again, and you kind of have to get used to that before. You know, so you don't get offended and have a little cry during your next vocal take. Yeah. Uh, what do we want people to know about us? Um, I guess that we are all over the like the Facebook and Twitters and things, and it's actually easier to interact with us um, than people think. Uh, like we, there's not some guy yeah. that's our manager or some guy that we're paying to write all our blogs and whatnot for. Yeah, we like to interact with um, with you know people on our Facebook pages and know what they think. And you know, every, whenever someone says like I really like this song, you know, we read every message and it means a lot to us to know what people like and what people dislike about our music because you know we're writing our music for people and I think it's important that we we kind of get feedback and interact with these people personally. And if it's shit, tell us. Take your butt off that high horse. it up to here with your gimmicks. Um, you know, most of the... 21. Yeah, 21 year olds um, being the legal drinking age, like, we, we used to kind of a lot of really young 18 year olds jumping around and getting messy. I think people are a little bit more mature and, um, and, and in California everyone seems to be pretty high. Oh yeah, time. that as well. Um, and in Australia it seems like 18 year old people just discovering alcohol, getting drunk and rowdy. Yeah, but it's, other than that it's, it's pretty similar. We're, similar. I was, we're definitely pretty scared of the whole thing going over there, maybe people would judge us or hate our accents or maybe not even understand a word we're saying so it was it was good looking forward to going back the challenges this year probably working with my little brother it's been pretty hard um great what else um i guess our, our studio at home we work out of is our garage it's you know, falling apart and there's holes in the walls and we have apartments all around us and other houses and have a lot of noise complaints and things like that so that's a bit of a challenge. We tend to just ignore it so it's not that much of a challenge but... We had a council lady come over yesterday and tell us to shut up and... Yeah, we had about been a week complaints. full of complaints this week so... Yeah. Well right now we're in Australia and it's May and in a couple of weeks we go back to the US. We've only just got back to Australia and we're planning to just be here to record. We're not doing any shows or anything, so we're talking to some producers and we'll get some tracks down and then we're pretty much heading straight back over to the States to do a West Coast tour. Yeah. So um, that is our major plan right now. I really want to release more music ASAP um, and just spend as much time in the States as possible. That 2014 is kind of Lime Cordial in the USA. Yeah, we've got American passports, so... So we can spend as much time as we want there, but 
please come to our shows or else we won't be coming back because we won't be able to afford to come back. Hmm. Anything else you want to say? Nah. <laughs>